Hello there. This is the Dade City default detector at AR825.9 on the CSX. What is this? The Wildwood subdivision? No. Well, it used to be the S line. Oh, yeah. What happens? What are these here for? They're they're kind of rare. You don't see them very often. They're usually placed about 20 miles apart from one another. And what they do is detect any kind of dragging equipment along the train. It drags along the side of the train and hits these bars. Either on the east side of the track, the middle of the track, or the west side of the track. And then in turn, through this, close the switch. Sends wire, that signal through the wire. It's one o'clock. Yes, it is one o'clock. And into the electronics hut, which is a small computer, a uh, speech synthesizer, and a radio. And it, um, it radios to the train's conductor what the problem is. Either dragging equipment. I've got a credit on Frogger. Watch out. Um, and also... This piece of equipment is a hot box detector. What it does is uh, it's got an infrared receiver down that little hole and it's kind of like shooting kind of like a diagonal beam or receiving a diagonal beam. If, a, um, if an axle passes over this and the bearings are overheated, it will send a fault signal again to the radio in the control hut to radio to the conductor that there's a problem. Either or, if one, if it, if the the uh, defect detector detects dragging equipment and or hot box, the electronics in the hut counts the axles of the train as it goes over, and gives a audible announcement via radio to the conductor at approximately what axle along the train the trouble is. This uh, particular uh, detector also measures length of train, the train speed, and some defect detectors, not this one, also, uh, also uh, announce ambient temperatures. But I haven't seen one down here so far that does that. Uh, I don't know if the one in Kathleen does it or not. I don't know. But that's what a detect detector is. A defect detector. Sorry, I can't speak. Blame it on Asperger's.